Hey, what's going on guys? Joe and John here with Trillium Service Company and today we're gonna to be talking to you about HTFs, otherwise known as? Heat transfer fluids. That's right, John. So why don't you let the people know what an HTF is? Well, Joe, it's exactly as the name implies. It's a fluid that's designed to transfer heat. Now, heat transfer fluids are used in countless applications, including industrial processes that require heating or cooling to maintain a consistent temperature. But do you know what the most common heat transfer fluid is? No. It's water. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yep, water has outstanding thermal properties and can be an incredible HDF. Water is a substance that cools quickly and heats. I mean, I guess that does make sense, but uh, what comes to mind would be like a hot water radiator system in your house. Exactly, the, you're heating it up, the water is the transfer, transferring the heat up to the radiators, thus releasing it and warming up your house. Now, another good example is the radiator system in your car. Ah, so in that case, the heat transfer fluid is actually used to cool it down and prevent it from overheating. Exactly, you're, you're grabbing the heat from the engine block and taking it out to a radiator, thus cooling it and carrying the coolant back to the engine block. All right, that makes sense. But uh, I mean, the main thing is, isn't water's effectiveness limited to the temperature? I mean, if it gets too cold, it freezes pretty quickly. If it gets too hot, it evaporates. Exactly, and therefore we don't generally use water alone. Water will freeze and has a boiling point. Additionally, it leads to rust on metal surfaces, so that is why we have a category specifically for heat transfer fluids that address all these issues. All right, so uh, why don't you give me some details on the different types of HTFs that we have? Well, at PSC, we offer three different base types of heat transfer fluids, depending on what your specific application is. Ethylene glycol, propylene glycol, and oil-based. Now, a heat transfer fluid with ethylene glycol is blended with water and is what is commonly used in heavy-duty diesel, gasoline, and natural gas engine cooling systems. Okay, and then on the other side, you have propylene glycol, which is also blended with water, but it's more used in environmentally friendly situations, right? Right, making it relatively non-toxic and safe to use. An example would be food processing applications where accidental contact with food or beverage products could occur. All right, and so then finally we have our mineral oil-based heat transfer fluid. Right, now mineral-based HTFs are oils that are generally used to maintain a certain temperature versus say, steadily cooling something down. In a manufacturing application, they can be used to maintain the pliability of a material while it's being processed. All right, so then oil-based fluids actually hold on to their temperature versus glycol and water that change thermal properties rapidly. Exactly, with water, the main benefit is that it heats up and cools down rapidly. Oils, on the other hand, are used for their ability to maintain their temperature for longer periods of time. All right, well, that was some excellent information, yes. John. Guys, this has been an overview of heat transfer fluids that we carry at PetroleumServiceCompany.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us via phone, email, or hit us up in the chat. And for Petroleum Service Company, I'm Joe. With me always is John. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, guys.